Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's busy business babe video is all about headshots and why you need them whether you're an entrepreneur, just a student, whether you're a college student or high school because headshots are definitely not just for models. So today I'm going to be going over how you can get a headshot and why you need one as a young professional gal. So let's get started. And this video is a collaboration with Indigo Corner Studio. So if you are in the Knoxville, Tennessee area and you need a new place to get your hair done, your makeup done, you want professional or lifestyle, wedding, photography photos done, if you have a wedding or other special event coming up where you're gonna need all three of those things, then this place is for you. And so thank you to the girls, Claudia, Abigail, and Rachel at Indigo Corner Studio for making me look great, feel fabulous, and taking my headshots and allowing me to film the process for you guys. Okay, so the first reason you need a headshot, no matter who you are, is because it is just gonna put off a more professional tone. Whether it's on your social medias or on your LinkedIn, in your email. This is extremely important if you are just even reaching out for internships and you wanna set yourself apart from all the other applicants, use an email address where you have your headshot as your profile picture. Because when I get an email from someone and their profile picture on their email is looking great and it looks professional, I know they're the real deal. But if they have no picture or it's a picture of their dog or a selfie of them, then I know, you know, who knows who this is. But when it's a professional picture, you're gonna set a more professional tone and it's gonna set you apart from all the other applicants for that internship, for that job, for, for whatever it is you're emailing this, you know, high person about. The next reason is you can use it everywhere. So especially if you have a business or you're thinking of starting a blog or you're thinking of starting a podcast or a more professional Instagram, you're gonna need a headshot for all your profile pictures. If you guys can tell, the main photo on my website, a lot of my, like my, a lot of my profile pictures, like my Facebook profile picture, I use this also in my presentations whenever I present myself in a picture to a brand or a media for the first time. I always use the same picture so that everyone knows who I am and when they see that picture, they see that blue background, they see me standing like that in a jumpsuit, they know it's Hannah Ashton and they know what I present and what I'm for. Even if you're thinking of having any type of website or blog, get your headshots done so when you actually go to put the blog or social medias together, you have an array of images you can choose from to put on that website. Another reason why is the pros make you look fabulous. I felt so comfortable, and if you don't live in this area, I'm sure a local photographer, I'm sure whoever takes your photos will make you feel the same because if they're professional, they're gonna make you feel fab, they're gonna coach you along. So you wanna feel amazing and they're also gonna make you look great if you get your makeup and hair done by a professional beforehand too. So you'll feel great, you'll look great, and then the pictures are just gonna turn out better. And so it's just gonna save you the frustration of just your friend taking a photo of you. Even though if that's all you have, that's okay, but try to get a professional. It's just gonna make the process way smoother. The cost is worth it. So a pr more professional photographer, makeup and hair does cost more, but it is worth it if you are wanting to present yourself as professional and look like you know what you're doing. And here's a fun idea. If you have a bunch of girlfriends, if you guys all need professional headshots done for college applications or whatever it is, make it a girl's day. So try to work with one of your local photographers, makeup artists, hair dressers, and see if they can give you a group price for the package. So if there's six of you, maybe they'll give you a discounted rate since there's so many of you. And it can be a fun full day filled with hair, makeup, and pictures, and you all will leave it with some great photos of yourselves and a fun time. So how the process usually goes is you're, you'll get your hair done. Claudia is the, also the one who cuts my hair usually. I love her, she's great. And then if you get your makeup done, usually it is gonna be a little bit darker than if you do your makeup yourself. They'll make your features stand out a little more, a little bit more blush, darker eyebrows, bigger eyelashes and darker lips. So don't get scared if at first you're like, I don't know if this makeup is really me. If you have a good photographer with great lighting, then it's going to be toned down in the photos and it's gonna look beautiful. It's gonna look perfect in the photo. But Rachel actually has airbrush options. So I got my face airbrushed for the first time, which was super cool and awesome. And it looked amazing. And you wanna choose a hairstyle and makeup that is a little bit more on the natural side 
you know, color and style wise. So I just went with a middle part and loose curls for my hair because it's simple, it looks nice, but it isn't too overdone. You know, you don't want like a prom hairstyle for your headshots. You want just something simple, natural and pretty. And then for makeup, it, it does have to be a little bit darker, but I didn't go with any like blue eyeshadow. Like even if you have awesome blue shoes, don't match your eyeshadow to your shoes or anything like that. I mean, obviously you wanna show yourself in these headshots, but you also wanna make them last as long as possible. So if blue eyeshadow is only in for the summer, you also wanna be able to use these headshots in the winter. So think about that when shoot, when doing your hair and makeup. And then with your outfits, it's the same way. You wanna choose outfits that could be looked at in the winter, fall, spring, and summer. So I chose two different outfits. One was a more professional look. So it was a black blouse with a slimming black blazer. And I chose jeans because I wanted to be a little bit more casual. You know, I'm not in a corporate job. I'm like a blogger influencer. So I didn't want to look too corporate. So I paired it with some fun flare jeans and these awesome red heels. I don't know if I got footage showing them, but they just really stood out and, and had a fun pop to them. So they're still professional, um, but they're really fun. And so when people would see a picture of me in these, you know, it would stand out to them and hopefully make them remember the picture and what I do. You can get w just one outfit done. I did a second outfit. This one is a little bit more casual. Maybe if you're not, you know, business and you're just applying for colleges or internships, something along the lines of this. I just had a cute corduroy set with some simple heels. Again, that black blouse. And it was an outfit that, you know, would look normal in the summer, spring, winter, and fall. And then the photography time. So like I said, if you have a great photographer, she will help you with the stances. You can watch what I'm doing here. These are some of my favorites. I like, uh, a lot of photographers love the hair thing. I love that, I, even in my Instagram pictures. I like playing with my hair, so putting your hand um, through your hair, at the bottom of your hair, on your shoulder, on your face. Um, you know, like tousling your hair just looks very natural, looking down, looking out, looking at the camera. There's different head placements and eye placements you can do as well to give some different shots. Also, you know, um, I like doing a lot of on the hips, accentuating the waist. I love walking shots where it looks like I am walking, so I'll put one foot in front of the other. I just think those look really pow powerful. You can also do shots where you're sitting too. I love when photographers bring out a stool or something to sit on for photos. I think it just adds a great element and looks really nice. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope you are now convinced that you need to go get some pi nice pictures of yourself taken for all your professional needs. If you live in the Knoxville area, all the contact for Indigo Corner Studio will be in the description box below. Go check them out, send them a big thank you, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, busy business babes. <laughs> Such a mouthful.